Welcome back to Zakima's Ridge Homestead. I'm Brian. I'm Paula. I'm Kendallette. And today, we're going to extract some honey. Okay, ready to try it again? Okay, you One ready? more time. Because that was pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty doggone good. It sounded good. a bit mean, though. Right? Sound, sound happy. Sound happy. And I'm Kendallette. Okay, you ready? Look at the camera. <laughs> Welcome back to Zakima's Ridge Homestead. I'm Brian. I'm Paula. I'm Kendall. And today, we're going to extract some honey. Hello, and welcome to our channel. And we're, we're glad, glad you're, you're here. here. Well, if you saw our last video, I'll link it up here in the corner, we lost three of our five beehives. And out of those hives, we've ended up with these four boxes that have quite a bit of honey in them. So we're going to go ahead and extract some of this honey. I do want to save some for possible swarm traps or if we get some packages in the spring or do some splits. It's a good resource to have. What we'll do is we'll take the, each individual frame out, we'll use our little pin roller to uh, open up the caps on it, put it in our extractor, and uh, see how much honey we get. Push it. Okay, what we're going to do is use the pin roller, just basically roll, roll it back and forth across the uh, caps, and that helps poke holes in the caps to let the honey come out. Let's see how it opens them up. We really don't have any... Uh, like good frames that are sticking up to use like a hot knife on. These are all sort of recessed a little bit because they're old brood comb. But we'll, uh, okay. it needs a little more than that. Does it? Yeah. Okay, keep doing it. Like that? You have to push down. Push down a little bit harder. Bit. And once we get these opened up, we'll put it in the extractor. There's always okay. different kinds of flowers. We have never used this extractor before. Uh, Paula got it at a yard sale or an estate sale or something last year. And of course there's no, no instructions with it, but I know the frame goes in that way. And we'll bring it around and put a second frame on this side. And then we'll spin the handle and then we'll take them back out, open up the honey on the other side, put them in the other direction, and then spin it again. So we'll go ahead and prep another, another comb with about the same amount of weight of honey so it's not out of balance. And then we'll, we'll give it a shot. Okay, we've got our second frame in there, and what we're going to do is spin that, and any honey should go into the bottom and come out this gate into this bucket. We've got a paint strainer in here to take any chunks out, and uh, we're ready to go. Go ahead and, this has to stay closed when you spin it, but we're going to go ahead and start spinning it and show you what it does. Start you spinning slow. You spinning it. Well, as that spins, it'll sling the honey out onto the side. You can go a little faster if you want. You can see it, look how it wants to shake. So we'll spin this and we'll see what kind of honey we get out of those two. That's probably not the easiest thing to see down in there, but you can see the shiny on the bottom. There's probably well, maybe three-eighths of an inch to a quarter of an inch of honey on the bottom, and the sides are all still wet. That's what we got out of those first two um, deep combs. I think those are the only deep ones we're going to do because the other ones have a lot of... Uh, uncured honey which will make it too wet so we're going to be careful to we'll only use fully cured frames but there's where we're at after just the two so we'll go ahead and continue doing this and we'll show you how much we got when we're done slow okay, other way other way okay and then go faster speed up a little bit when that arm gets tired you can switch to the other <laughs> Probably good. Okay. Well, we didn't get as much as we expected to get or hoped to get, but uh, some of the frames had some uncured nectar, which we made the mistake last year of extracting un uncured nectar and all our honey fermented and got kind of bad. So we've got uh, maybe a little over an inch or so in there. If we got any more, it'd be time to open the gate because you don't, you don't want your basket spinning in the honey at the bottom. So, 
since we ended where we did, we didn't have to worry about opening it yet. But if it if it had more frames to go at this point, we'd have opened the gate anyway to let the honey out so that it didn't start spinning on the bottom of the basket. But there's where we're at, maybe an inch or so. So we will open up the gate here and see what comes out. Okay, go ahead and lift it up. The side here. There's the honey with all the liquid gold wax pieces in it. Probably some bee parts and who knows what else. But that'll go through this paint strainer, get all those big chunks out, and then we will use the, bo the bucket that it's in. It's also got a honey gate on it, and we'll use that to put it in bottles. So once this all drains out of here and drains through the screen, we'll start bottling and we'll show you how we do that and also how many we got. Yeah, everything's all extracted and filtered through into this bucket. The honey line is right about here in the five gallon bucket. Not spectacular, but we'll take it. So now we just need an empty bottle. Stick it under the gate. Get the cat hair off the gate. Open until the honey starts pouring out. Poor old Dougie getting his 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> and let it stop dripping. Should be Jojo, one more screw the lid on. And he gives it to you. I have to screw it. Yeah, there it is. I found that we stopped the honey right about there. It's it's pretty close to being a pound. So there's one pound. In the jar. So every single honey thing is about a pound. Mm -hmm. yep. So we will, we will continue bottling this and we'll let you know when we're done how many pounds we have out of here. We ended up getting 16 one pound bottles and then about three quarters of a bottle extra. That one we'll just save for personal use. The other ones we have put our custom honey labels on. The orange dots covering our address and phone number. And we also have a nutrition facts label on the back. So 16 pounds isn't obviously a what you'd call a honey harvest by any means, but to get that out of uh, those dead hives is, is, is kind of nice. So hope you enjoyed our uh, honey extraction video. Please uh, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, feel free to put them down below. Thanks for watching and have a good day.